Hello everyone, Priest be to God, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So in between last episode and this one, as I said, I went back to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen and farmed a few more monsters. So I now have 30 ghosts, and because I had to wait for it to turn night, I also have 30 cacti balls, even though they're easier to farm on this next level. I also got my goodie bag and catnip counts up a bit, because they were both a bit low and they were on the way. So our first room is done. If we go up here, here's Cacti Ball. My spines are numero uno, eh, senor? But you are a real hero too, amigo. The Cacti Ball is off to be in the tank. My needles will give the Platyosai something to think about. I'd be waiting for your call. Excellent, excellent. And now the ghost should be down here. There it is. Look at that smiling face. Ooh, this statue really spooked me. It's super, so haunting. The ghost is offered to be in your tank. <laughs> Look at that ton, too. Yeah, ha, ha. You, now you are possessed, Rocket. And a call and I will show myself. Excellent. So those are two interesting crew members you can have. The ghost in particular is very interesting. And this is going to be a long episode, by the way, because the world we're going to do is pretty big. He's like, why did you interrupt my smoking break, Rocket? Alright. We have Baron Blubba, the Wordle, and the Walking Corpse. Maybe I'll take Blubba out, since Blubba can carry free things on his head, but I mean, he's not that great. So, he's very slow. So, let's see. We have Cacti Ball. He can fire like crazy or target their commander. Arriba! I put lots of ammo in the cannons. I attack the enemy commander, too. So he's pretty fast at loading the cannons. And, he, like he said, he will basically be like, Alright, who's the leader of their tank? I'm going to go after them and attack them. So that's interesting. And then we have the Ghost, who can steal ammo or hamper their commander. Hello, I will make myself invisible and give the enemy a fright. Boo! So the Ghost is kind of slow. The Ghost is also completely invisible. Which means he can, like, the doors for the enemy tank will open for the ghost. And he can just go and take ammo and go back to your tank, but he's really slow about it. Or he can turn invisible, sneak up on the enemy's commander, and attack them. So that's, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna keep this, these guys. I think Blobba will be a little more efficient. Because he can carry free things on his head. But Cacti Ball is also a good choice, and I think Walking Corpse is slightly, slightly faster than the Cacti Ball. Anyhow, okay, so backstory time. I actually recorded this entire episode, and it, it seemed to go pretty well. You know, re finished recording it and all that. Then at the end, I realized two things. Number one, apparently I bumped my microphone's mute button very early on in the recording, so most of my commentary was lost. As if that wasn't enough, OBS also froze multiple times during the episode, rendering a lot of the footage completely unusable. And I didn't realize this until after I had already saved at the end, so... What I ended up doing was essentially I had to replay the entire game up to this point. Ain't that something? Now, I tried to replay it in the exact same way that I did in the Let's Play, but there are going to be a few things that are different. So, for example, I do have 73 slimes, and I do have the full crew that I was playing on. I have Baron Blubba, I have the Walking Corpse, and I have the Wordle in my tank, and that's what I did in the original episode as well. However, my ammo is probably a little bit different than what you might be expecting. For example, I have a Chili Pepper in my ammo. I want to show off what that's like. So that's the ammo that I have. Hopefully the rest of the episode will go off without a hitch. And I also have multiple save states leading back to my completed Let's Play, so I can do the bonus episodes after this one. So, just the backstory, let's get started on the actual video. <laughs> just wanted to preface that, so in case people were like, hey, that's not what you said you had before, then you'll, now you know why. So we're going off to Flucifer's Necropolis. This is the second to last world in the game. It's kind of a beach meets a construction zone. As you can see, you've got construction signs everywhere. So starting off, we've got the Platypunks right here. Gotta pick them up, you know, just to have them. 
We also have Pixies in this world, something that I had actually forgotten about before doing this Let's Play. But they actually play a very important role in the world, which you're going to see in a bit. Stupid Pixie. Ah! I'm off my game. Get back here, you stupid Pixie. Alright, so if we go up here, we're going to find the main gimmick of the level. There are reports that Rocket is heading this way. Will you use this door to stop him getting any further? You two make sure he doesn't get a hold of those rock bombs. Yeep! He's here already! Commence the operation straight away! <laughs> you can't get through this door without rock bombs! You're gonna have to catch my two men if you want to get through. So this is the main gimmick of the level. Beyond this door lies the fo the boss of the world and the end of the world. It's one of those statue puzzles. We need the rock bombs and then the imp. There are two rock bombs. They are on the opposite ends of the course. So we basically have to go down these two different water streams, get the rock bombs, unlock these teleporters that lead back here so we can open that door. Once we go down one of these paths, we will not be able to come back until we unlock that warp. So you can go to the left or the right. The left is a little bit easier, so we're going to start there. The current's too strong to get back. You better carry on exploring this area. So right off the bat, we've got the Transylvanian Railway. And this is a new enemy. This is a Jinxter. These are like little raccoon guys that are wizards. They have gray lollipops that they shoot fireballs out of, and they can teleport around. They're not too bad, though. And they can be pretty helpful if you actually unlock them for your tank, so make sure you do that. And we got pom-poms in the world. What else is new? Alright, so if we go this way, this is the part where my LB OBS froze on my first recording, so... Hopefully that won't happen again. So, we can see this is a giant winding railway. And we've got a slime here. It's Megan. Have you seen this big, long train track? It looks like it could be excellent fun to ride on. But I wonder what would happen if I fell off. Don't think about that, Megan. So yeah, we're in for a wild roller coaster ride. If we go up here, we're going to jump on the rail cart and inch our way down. Woo! If anyone makes a Dragon Quest theme park, this better be a ride. Although admittedly, I'd hate it for all the hairpin turns. So what we're actually going to do is go up here, because there are two extra slimes up, so we, we can't carry the imp with us, sorry. We have Boinoline, Yo, I heard about some buried cacti balls when those dudes brought me here. If you see one of those bad boys, you'd better steer clear. Alright, and who's this other slime? Ooh, it's Lord Lard! Those nasty jinxers cast frizz spells. That's what those fireballs they throw are. Okay, good to know. So this means we get to ride the roller coaster again! You love the roller coaster, don't you, Rocket? No, 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 no. Well, too bad, Rocket. You're getting on it. Oh, no! Rocket does not look like he's having fun. So you can just jump off of there if you want and end the roller coaster ride early. Hey, Imp! And we knocked the Imp on the rail cart anyways, just like I wanted. You guys can go down back to town. We got three new letters. Lord Lard. Oh there, Rocket. How are you doing? I've been having a whale of a time since you rescued me. Time for another feast. And we get a recipe for gold bars. Gold bars can require a lot of holy crystals and goddess statues, which are pretty rare. So yeah, those are kind of hard to get. Also, I can't remember if I showed off Francisco in the last episode, so I'll do that here. May the goddess grant you eternal sliminess, Rocket. Never feel alone in your fight, for she is always watching over you. 
and he gives you a recipe for cloaking devices, which require two toy slimes and some spooklier bombs. It's a very interesting recipe. I don't really mind. I don't like making those. I'm happy to be back in town, but I found out my shell's a bit broken. Those evil platyosi crack me up, and I'm not laughing. That sounds really painful. Send this one sailing on over. You behold a PS1 cruise missile. And Boinoline. Hey, you ever seen Gold Bar? You can sell those babies in the shop for quite a price. And speaking of holy crystals, holy crystal! You happen upon a holy crystal. Holy crystals are not very powerful pieces of ammo, but they are very valuable for alchemy. So collect them a lot. You'll be able to farm them in this world a bit more. And if we go this way, we've got a tank battle. It's Diggits. Yo, softer sludge, toughen up that tank of yours yet? Who are? Dig my heart as heck, Gollum man. Your Schleeman's gonna be paying the blues. Who are? So we're up against the Gollumator. Golly gosh, we've seen that before. He has two wordles, and that guy in the middle is a new enemy called the Dancing Flame. We'll be seeing more of him in this world. He's basically a creature made of fire who's going to try to attack our tank by breaking down the door. It could be nasty. Fire at will! So, we're gonna have Blub on the upper cannon, Walking Corpse is gonna fire like crazy, and Wardle is going to fire himself at the enemy. You better dig my groove, my man! Oh yeah, my shell's gonna turn a few heads! So Blub is a bit slow, admittedly, but he can carry free feints on his head, which is really nice. But he's actually not as efficient as I remember, and as I can see, that Dancing Flame is already heading towards our tank. We're going to want to intercept him quickly, because he can break down the door real fast. He does look really cool, I must admit. But I'm just going to take him out. Because he will just wreak havoc in your tank. He's one of the few guys who's actually really good at destroying your stuff in the tank. So just take him out quickly. Oh, that's a chili pepper. Okay. I can show off what the chili pepper is going to do then. So if you do that... My tank is now breathing fire, so any ammo that is thrown in the sky is going to get instantly knocked out. Except for the hell scythe, which was too far up. Unfortunately, it also knocks your own ammo down, so... Don't throw the chili pepper in your cannon if you've got a lot of ammo in the air. That would be a very bad idea. Oh, Dancing Flame wants to play a bit more. Don't hold the Dancing Flame for too long. Much like all the other enemies, he will hurt you if you carry him for too long. And I basically realized our wor my Wordle is basically canceling out their Wordle. Really? Why didn't that guy pick up the Oracle? Come? I don't understand your teammate's AI a whole lot. But still, we haven't taken damage, so that's really nice. Oh, sorry, dude. I need to stop Elastoblasting everywhere. It is the fastest way to go, but unfortunately it also means that you're gonna beat up your teammates a bit. Way to go, Blubba, carrying the strong medicine over here that is not even gonna help us anyways. Hey, dude. I know he's in the tank. I'm here to stop him. So as long as you're diligent and taking him out quickly, the Dancing Flame's not that bad. Okay, this seems like a really good time to use the Chili Pepper. Knock their Wordle out of the sky? I don't think it actually knocks the Spooklier Bombs out of the sky because they only can be destroyed by things that have holy properties. As always, you want to throw the Hell Siphon the Upper Cannon. It flies a much higher. Sorry, dude! 
My zombie is taking a lot of abuse. I feel bad about that. Oh, okay. Dancing Flame's back. And I do not trust Blubba to take him out, not even for a second. I actually might want to destroy my own door. Maybe not. And I don't think I actually brought in a Slime Knight into my ammo, so... That'll be fun. Alright, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna knock their HP down to zero, so... Got a Buster Sword going over there, so... Hey, dude! How the tables have turned! It's actually probably faster to just Elastoblast a blast through the light bulbs. I don't care if they're in our tank, I'm about to destroy theirs! <laughs> and Rocket's so happy to do that. Later, Diggsy, or whatever your name is. And we get a Holy Crystal! Nice. And we rescue Pambi. Yay, thank you! The Plob are very, very bad. Pambi wants to beat them all up, but Pambi a bit frightened. And I've got the baby slimes already. Goodness me. What? Some soft sludge slime can hit on my groove? Brr, I do not dig that. Alright, Pambi. Thanks for saving me! I'm home in town now. I'm going to glow up all big and strong, just like you. And wow, everyone's just giving us holy crystals, left and right. Alright. Alright, so we can move on up. Also, it was funny, during my first recording of this, right at the part where OBS froze, I was like, oh man, this is, game is lagging a lot, I hope my emulator doesn't crash. It was actually kind of funny, because I had no idea what was happening. And we can find holy water on this stage. Hi, Jinkster. So for this part, you really just want to jump from platform to platform. No big deal. You can also hover to make it a little easier. It's Michelle! Uh, let's see... I reckon a hover jump should get you over the stones in there. You'll be alright. Just press the A button while you're jumping, and you'll start to hover. Bonza! Alright, hey Jinkster, out of my way. Alright, yeah. So for this part, you're gonna want to do the hovers. You can't jump far enough. How dare you! And also, how come I can't pick up these guys? That's actually really bad. Wow, that Jinkster was super annoying, holy cow. Alright, I don't care about the treasure chest, but I at least wanted these two. So, pro tip, watch out for the Jinkster's fireballs in this area. Another baby slime tickles! Teehee, I knew you'd come to my rescue! This must be fate! I wonder why there are cannons on top of those carts! It's a real mystery! And it's weird that the baby slime is hitting on me. That is not okay. So what we've got here is we need to go down this passage, and to do that, we're gonna have to shoot ourselves out of one of these cannons. Ride like the wind! Alright, Michelle. That Schleeman tank of yours is massive! I reckon it'd be a bonza place for a Barbie! <laughs> Thank you, Australian Michelle. Sprinkle a day keeps the zombies at bay, we get holy water. You're really, really brave. I think you fight really well. I'm going to marry you when I grow up. No, you're not. Oh no, 
Oh, that was supposed to be a secret! Nope, that's not okay. Thanks for the holy crystal, but I'm not marrying you. So the dancing flames are down here, and when they're in the overworld, you can hold them for as long as you want. They're pretty cool, you're gonna wanna get them in your tank eventually. But maybe not, uh, until after you beat the game. Sopia! There are dancing flames under- That's not Sopia's voice, Sopia's definitely a female. Let me try that again. <clears throat> they are all dancing flames underground, it's just so hot! If only there was some way to get the better of them! Well, there are. So the Dancing Flames you can bring back to town on the cards, you can destroy them. Also, if there's water, you can throw them in water to instantly kill them, and if you do that, they will always drop a question mark bag. And the question mark bags have a 50% chance of being fire water, and then a 50% chance of being a chili pepper. So keep that in mind. I'm so grateful to you for rescuing me, Rocket. I got you a little present to say thanks. Here you go. That's a recipe for spooklier bombs. Four rock bombs and then a devil's tail. We have not encountered devil's tails yet. We will in this world. Also, it's going to be an epic transition for, to nighttime, because it's going to be nighttime when I come out. So yeah, collect the dancing flames. This is the only level you can collect them on. They spawn underground. Now, if we climb up here, this is a giant maze. This is essentially where the two different sides converge. So you'll be on basically two different halves of the maze, depending on which side you went through. And they all have prizes inside, in those chests. So you're going to want to explore. We can go up there and that'll lead us to the end. But we want to explore a bit more. Hey, Pixie. Take that. So we can find holy crystals lying out in this area. This is like the best place to farm them. In fact, it might be the only place you can farm them. Pom Pom is there. Don't care about that. Mimic here. We gotta take him back to town if we want 100%. So like I said, it is a maze, so to find everything, you're going to have to explore quite a bit. So we can't go up there. We can, however, go down here. I believe that's the whole maze. Everything else I believe we can explore on the other side of the course. So we'll go up here, and we're about to reach the end of this side of the course. So we've got this river. Hey, no, 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 no fair, no fair, no fair! It lo the game locked me out of my controls because it clicked out of the window. I did not even touch my mouse. I was not even touching my computer. It just did it automatically. Just to lock up my controls. That sucks, game. That really does. So that's where the rock bomb is. We can bring it back to town and it'll respawn. Uh, also, this is a field filled with cacti balls! So I got them on the Tomb of Tootenschleimen in my main actual game, but this is the best place to farm them. So if you don't already have them in your tank, this is absolutely where you want to go and if you want to unlock them. Oh, hi! So in this record, in this uh, version of the game that I'm playing, I did not have any cacti balls. Whereas in the one where that got corrupted, I had cacti balls in my tank. There's also a bomb we can blow up there with a rock bomb. So what we're going to want to do is go back, create the shortcut teleporter. Now we're going to pick up the rock bomb and blow our way up through there. Cacti balls are dangerous when they're in great numbers. It's Wino! This excavating's nothing but a waste of time! I'm just turning up empty chests! Hmm? Yows are a slime! <coughs> This is not the best game for me to be recording when I'm co recovering from a cold. Look at this! An easy mark lands right in my lap! It's my lucky day! I'll be in your tank cleaning out your supplies so quick, you won't have time to spit! So this is the war chest, Auto Mimic Firepower. This is the Mimic-based chest. And he has an imp as a partner and two ghosts. So I got ghosts at the beginning of this episode. That's the one part of the video that actually didn't really get corrupted in any way. 
So you're about to see what the ghosts can do, and how they behave very differently than they do in the overworld. We ain't gonna let that kid be- We're gonna best that kid with this ammo. Go steal some ammo from the Schleeman tank. Aye, aye, third. So he's actually got fairly decent ammo. He's got those BS2 blue streaks. And as you can see from my screen, the ghosts are coming. So I'm actually gonna stay behind here to show what happens. My, my door just opened. And they're invisible. So they basically come in here and steal my ammo. I'm gonna let them make off with that. Because I do not want them dropping that in my tank. Just gonna throw that in there, knock out their edged boomerang. Honestly, the ghosts are harmless. They don't really attack you. I mean, they can if you have them in your tank. But they're not gonna attack you when the enemies use them. And the fact that they're very slow and only steal one piece of ammo at a time means that they're really bad, and they actually do more harm than good to the enemy tank, because that basically means they're out two crew members. Especially when I have a chili pepper that can just easily knock their stuff out of this guy. So as you can see, I haven't taken damage, and they're already like a quarter of the way down. And just because you can't see them doesn't mean you can't hit them. They, You can still be hit, hit them. As you saw, my walking corpse actually attacked them. And if you have a couple of really good pieces of ammo that they steal, that can be a bad thing. Hey, get out of here. Don't you dare attack me. <laughs> but yeah, their ghosts are literally hurting them more than they're helping. They're not making off of my buster sword, though. That's not going to happen. No, you're not going to heal your tank. Get back here. Baron Bulba, can you please not? You're terrible at attacking enemies. <laughs> Man, they just can't damage me. This is actually really hilarious. There's a ghost up here somewhere. Blubba, please don't. Two shields are about to hit each other. This is going to be great. I actually really do not want to throw the chili pepper out. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh no, we got nothing but our engine now, folks! Oh my gosh, I've taken one damage, and that was from the shield. That's hilarious. Alright, if memory serves, the lower path is the correct one on this tank. Oh man. Whether or not the upper or lower path is the correct one is dependent on the tank you're using. So I literally took one damage the entire time, but that's just enough to not give me the sublime rank. Victory! And we get a BS2 blue streak for that. That's really nice. Oh, it's Frankenslime! Thank you, thank you, Master! You saved me from the blob! If I see any of these criminals around, I'll pull off their precious tails! Thank you, Frankenslime. The blob's all about stealing! 
But I should never have got my claws on Doity. I'm sorry. And now Frankenslime sends us his regards. Greetings, Master. Thanks for saving me. How dare the nasty blob mess up our town like this? You can't let them get away with this rocket. Ah, here we go. You'll have to mix it up to make it matter. You take a Devil's Tail. Devil's Tail is an item that deals one damage if you put it in your tank, but it's necessary in order to make a lot of the famous, uh, the really good alchemy stuff, so... Oh, come on! This is ridiculous. Get out of my face. Alright, so we have one Rock Bomb unlocked, but that's not enough. So we're gonna have to leave it there.